Hi, um, this is going to be another makeup video, uh, mostly because I'm absolutely angry that I just dyed my hair and it looks awesome. It was met originally bleached and with black as well, but the black ran and it's now got silver, white, sort of grey, uh, and a weird blue tint in the side as well. So it looks totally awesome, but I'm going to do this makeup video. Um, it's not going to be sort of it's not going to be promoting anything it's just going to show you all the different types of makeup that I have uh, the best things to use and a way to have make good makeup but on a cheap budget so first of all body shop primer this is probably the most expensive part of my entire kit this cost me about I think it was £20 for two or three I think it was a deal on at the time um, always put primer on because it keeps your face moist and it also makes them <laughs> moist um, it ke it makes sure that when you take your makeup off, it's a lot easier. So I just take about a couple of single single worths of it and um, put it all on my face and neck. It keeps your skin really healthy. And as I said, it helps you take your makeup off. I have got a bit of um, the hair dye on my head there, so please try and ignore that. Okay. So, once you've got the primer on, leave it set off for a couple of uh, seconds. Uh, I got this. The uh, Avon foundation. It's quite weird, it's not a powder, it's not a spray, it's not liquid per se. It is like almost gelish. It's uh, it's nice, it only comes in the one shade I believe. But it's really good, actually it might come in, I think it comes in more than one shade, I don't know per se, but it's really good. Um, it's got this little flap, so you've got the foundation there, and then there's a little sponge for there. So, just put this on. I like to just do it quite quick, quite thin layer because I am very pale and that means that if I put a dark foundation on I end up looking like Donald Trump and nobody wants that. I always find that putting foundation over your eyelids as well when you're putting on eyeshadow will help the eyeshadow stay on longer. There we go. Now, just brings out a bit of light to your face. Then I use Collection Pressed Powder. Um, I normally use a bright lighter one than this because as I said I am very pale so if I do look like Donald Trump I am very sorry. Um, I also got these sponges off of wish.com. They are really good, you get five in a pack and because they've got a little bit of ribbon on the back it's good and easy to hold them so you don't really need to worry too much about where your fingers are or your face is. It makes it a lot easier and keeps the job nice and easy and clean. Because the one problem I always find with pressed powder is it gets everywhere. Um, my work clothes are black, so I'll end up with just powder all over my black work clothes, which makes it look like I'd be sniffing blood, which I don't. So it don't look great. Anyway, that's how it looks. I do look ever so slightly like Donald Trump, so I am sorry. Um, next, I have three different kind of eyeliners. This one is a liquid one and it's very good, it's called Eye Eye Captain. Uh, it's one of the cheapest ones I've ever had and it is the easiest one to use. Um, of course the only problem with liquid eyeliner is that if you go off course on your eye and get it in your eye it stings like hell. So I'm not going to be using that one today but it is a good one and it's very cheap as well. And it comes out in a fantastic black colour, not blotchy at all, doesn't go grey is good so if you want a really good liquid eyeliner eye eye captain i think it's only about one or two pounds in savers then i have this one iconic eye um is it iconic well apparently iconic eyeliner pen it's a simple unbranded one from primark i think i got this for only about one or two pounds again super cheap you don't need to spend that much money and it's really really good and then I got this one, the 36 hour one off of wish.com. This is probably best for like doing flicks or under the eye. 
um, it's got a thicker belt tip to this one and my <laughs> hold on <laughs> that its tip is quite thick compared to the other ones but it is still very good I'm not going to use that one today today I'm going to use this one from Primark as I said it was cheap it only cost like one or two pounds and it wasn't even on the sale either so it was really good for the money that you pay so I'm just going to do my normal thing here and I just got that in my eye but it didn't hurt oh dear, what have I done? So that's simple eye eyeliner. Now I will show you my fantastic eyeshadow contraption. This I got for £12 from Argos. I said you don't need to spend a lot of money and it's got loads of eyeshadows in it. I have got even more because I'm an eyeshadow maniac. Um, so you open the top and plenty of colours. That's all you, there is really in that section. Then you've got pink in this side. I don't use pink very much, so green only ever slightly being used. Don't use it very often. I tend to use the darker colours or blander colours more often because it brings it brings out the blue in my eyes a little bit more. Then you've got this section. Uh, as you can see, the black and the red have been basically all com completely used up. I love the darker colours. It always always made um, quite a nice shadowy eye sh um, shade. So I'd do the black across like that, the white, and then in the middle I'd have red, and that really brought out an evil kind of glare. Then you push on the two sides, down here, and then got powders. Uh, I've basically used it all up now. There's not much left of any of them. I don't use blusher because I'm very pale, I don't see the point in it. It would just make me look either like I was constantly blushing like serious blushing not even like cute blushing like literally like face over tomato or it make me look like I'm dead um so then we've got lip gloss as well I don't use much of that either only if I'm going out or if there's any special reason so for this now I'm just going to use the green eyeshadow these ones so I'm going to start with this colour, then I will use this one, that and that. I won't use all the greens, I don't see the point, otherwise you're just overdoing it. And I'll use it across the whole eye to give it quite a nice elven effect. I've been trying to get that recently because I'm cosplaying as Arwen this year, so let's see what happens. That's it's quite quite nice. Look, the, the lighting in here doesn't bring out the best, so I will add a photo in. Next, mascara. So many people spend a stupid amount of money on mascara. This is a cheapie. You can get it most places. It's just called Absolute Lashes. You can probably, or again, kind of thing you can order off Wish for a couple of quid. You don't need to do too much. It's never. I've been had this for a good couple of years. It's never clumped, and. I mean, look at that. It's perfect. You don't have to have huge eyelashes, by the way, because there's no point. I, well, I don't anyway, because I have long lashes. But it does the job. It makes it look good. And always, always put on mascara after putting on eyeshadow. I otherwise, you get the problem of having like powder all over your lashes and just looking like you've dunked your head in some flour. 
Okay, now finally, I'm going to finish up with what I forgot last time. Uh, the Ultimate Lip Gloss. <laughs> Oh well, all put on. I'll wait a couple of minutes now. It's really good stuff. It does the job and like, as I said, you don't need to be having red lips or pink lips all the time. I find blander colours are usually better because if you've got really like bright hair or uh, bright features like bright eyes, if you've got pale skin, if you've got pale skin, the worst thing you can do is wear a really, really in your face lip gloss because that just draws all the attention to your mouth. And although it might be good for like when you're speaking, it just makes you look more gaunt and it look, makes you look a little bit deader. I know that sounds bad, but it does. I used to do it a lot and it just didn't work out well for me. Nothing. Nothing. This isn't the cleanest of glasses, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean. I have been using it today. So. Yeah. Nothing. It is good. You do let, have to let it dry. Do not put it on and then take a sip from a glass straight away because, well, it's not going to work. It needs to dry. <laughs> so you've got to give it about 5-10 minutes to dry and then, hey presto. I'll see you soon.